Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I want to share with you how I did this shot. I got a lot of questions and comments about, like, did I actually injure my ankle, or was this a makeup effect, or how, how did I do this? So I figured I wanted to share with you guys how I created this effect, and it was a digital effect. I'm kind of stepping through it right now in low resolution, because it's not rendered out yet. Uh, and the way that I did it is, well, he, here's the original shot with my normal, incredibly thin ankles <laughs> right there. And uh, what I decided to do is I used a bulge effect. And I'm going to turn it on here, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll just turn on the bulge effect. And you can see I kind of bulged it out, and you'll see uh, around it, you can see the background kind of bulging out as well. You can, you can see the distortion in the background. So the next thing that I did is I created a uh, what's called a Luma key, which selected out only my, my lily white ankle, because the background was a lot darker. So this was an easy way of kind of just getting the ankle. And you can see what I've grabbed here is just the ankle instead of the ankle in the surrounding area. And now it looks like it's kind of bulged out a little bit. And there is some distortion, you know, as I, I kind of rotate my ankle around. You can sort of see the, uh, you know, the hairs on it look a little bit weird, like you're looking through a lens. But I figured it was a quick shot and nobody would, you know, necessarily pick up on that. And nobody did. Uh, and the, the, net, the last thing that I did on this shot to make it look kind of bruised was that I kind of changed the, the color curves on it. And I just sort of darkened up that one area. And you can see as I changed the color curves, you know, I could have, I could have lightened it up, made it glowing, but I chose to, oh wow, well, it's, it's gone necrotic. <laughs> so I just kind of changed the color on it. And that's how I created that shot. So I know a lot of people had asked about it. This is how I did it. Whenever I can, you know, kind of cheap out and do something digitally instead of having to do it in real life, I, I choose to do that. It saves a lot of time. And as preppers, we know that whenever you can save time, that's a good thing. That's it. I hope you found this interesting, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.